My name is Claude Surtees. The HSE state that welding fumes from stainless steel and carbon steel are a known carcinogen and a known asthmogen, which is why I'm here to present the Clean Space 2 for the ultimate solution to this hazard. This is a Clean Space 2 power unit. It weighs 550 grams or thereabouts and it's 420 pounds. This is the half face mask, it's medical grade silicone, it weighs 120 grams and it's 59 pounds. This is the filter, this one is suitable for stainless steel welding fumes as well as carbon steel, galvanised and aluminium. Comes packaged in vacuum packaging like this. So just a bit more detail on the power unit. The power unit consists of the fan and the battery. The battery is a built-in lithium polymer battery. It has an approximate run time of six to eight hours and it's breath responsive. So the breath responsive system works like this. It responds to the demand of the operator. So when the operator breathes gently, it reduces, and when he breathes heavily, it instantly responds. And within 10 seconds of non-use, it will revert to standby. So all the while the green lights are on, you know that it's ready to go. It'll remain like that for three minutes before going into shutdown mode. This is the half face mask. It's medical grade silicone, very, very soft, very comfortable fit and a very good seal indeed. This is how it goes together. and the filter clips on at the back. Like this. So I'm just going to show you how to don the mask. Over the head, round the back of the neck, head harness over the head, and clip closed. Close the bellows if necessary, either side. Ensure that it's comfortable on the back of the neck. And these side straps are adjustable, there are buttonholes all the way up so we can adjust it to suit. And as you probably noticed, it automatically started with my first breath. That's part of the breath responsive system. And you can hear it adjusting according to my demand. So I can easily wear a welding screen over the top of this. And of course what this means is that when I want to take the screen off, I'm still protected from the fumes that are around in the atmosphere. To take it off, all I do is unclip one side and lift it off. Now I like to keep it in an enclosed container when not in use to make sure that it's free from dust and fumes. This is the one I like to use. So in there ready for next time and as you can see I've got some alcohol wipes to keep the thing clean. You can also put the face piece in a dishwasher or wash it up in a sink if you need to. That's the clean space too for welding fumes and thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this. We look forward to hearing from you.